So one thing I love talking about is shoes. I love shoes, I love uh, buying shoes, I love wearing them, I love putting together an outfit based on the shoes that I want to wear and so on. I have so many pairs and so little space in my house uh, to store them, but this is a completely different story. When it comes to shoes and trends, I'm going to talk about what is trending at the moment, even though I'm not into trends big time. Uh, but for the purpose of this video, I have selected shoes that, yes, they're trending, but they're super, super wearable. I'm not going to discuss about the trends that are not comfortable to wear and they don't look too good to me. Let's start the video. But first, uh, let's just put a little bit of lipstick. What shall we do today? Oh, this one. Walk of shame. No, this is pillow talk. I want walk of shame. Walk of shame. I love. I love this uh, color. It is it looks dark, but it's not as dark as it looks. I think it will give me mm, the color that I need to be like a perfect pair to this uh, beautiful green silk top that I'm wearing. So, shoe trend number one, super wearable. I'm, I promise everything I'm going to include in this video is going to be uh, uh, wearable and it will make perfect sense. So the first shoe trend that I absolutely love are the minimalist glove flats. So what are these flats about? First of all, their style and the look is super, super minimalistic. And what do we mean with the word glove? It means that they will literally fit your feet like a glove. They are ideally in leather, super, super soft. There are some glove flats out there that in my eyes, they are too glovey, <laughs> meaning they're super, super soft. I like a little bit of structure and I don't ideally want to see my toes when I'm wearing uh, this, if you know what I mean. But you know, you choose whatever style and vibe is good for you. Um, but it is a trend that I don't think necessarily is a trend. I mean, flats like that have always been around. It's just that this season we see them everywhere from every designer you can see them um, on your high street shop i believe Kos have something similar zara and um, and you can see them uh, in uh, high-end designers one designer that i really like uh, is of course kate um, i'm just seeing some uh, styles on uh, my screen but kate is a little bit pricey I would say second best brand for a style like this and actually for many styles that I'll mention later on in this video is this brand called ID. Uh, I believe you can find them on matches.com and Natsaporte. Uh, Price-wise they are quite affordable. Um, always check out the sales and so on. I always mention uh, this of course but I like their aesthetic, their price point, the colors, the options that they have definitely check this uh, brand out. Now, the next shoe trend, super wearable again, I will just keep mentioning uh, this uh, throughout the, the video, are similar to the first one, um, but with a twist. So we have flats, but Mary Jane flats. And what I love with this style of shoes is, you know, the little Mary Jane detail. I think it's so elegant, so feminine. It is a little bit, you know, like ladylike, but innocent at the same time. I really, really like it. And I like the strap to be not too thick, not too thin, something in um, between. Now, Mary Jane's you can find again from many, many brands and uh, different materials as well. I love personally my velvet Mary Jane's from VB Venezia, but of course, because the fabric is so sensitive um, and not very structured, you cannot wear them every day if it's raining. Hopefully during spring, of course, and summer even, you don't expect it to rain that often. But yeah, they are quite sensitive. If you want something, 
that you can wear uh, more often and without worrying about the weather I would opt for something in uh, leather and the other day I was checking Zara I don't shop at Zara that much um, but I um, saw this style of shoes Mary Jane's in leather uh, featured in a YouTube video and I have to say that I really liked the design so much and they were so so affordable now are Zara leather shoes um, good uh, do they last I don't know I've never purchased uh, myself uh, but design wise they just absolutely nailed it uh, because you can get you know very beautiful ones from the row but are you willing to spend like 800 pounds well I'm, I'm, I'm definitely not uh, cause is my uh, go-to place uh, for alternatives uh, that they're not super cheap like H&M and Zara um, but again I don't know how, how long do they last I don't have experience I can recommend the design and the style but they cannot vouch for the quality if you know what I mean so I think it's important for you to do your market research to identify which style is your vibe and what you would like to purchase but both these styles I think they are very modern while also being a bit of a classy um, and you choose whatever you want from whatever is available out there if you fancy Chanel Mary Jane's or just flats go for it but if you fancy something at a lower price point it's good that there are so many alternatives uh, in the market okay so now next uh, trend which is not that uh, much of a trend it's always been there uh, beloved and been trusted uh, loafers I absolutely love a good pair of loafers now you choose again the material that you want do you want it to be leather do you want it to be patent leather do you want to have that croc detail do you want it to be super super soft leather or do you want to be a more a sturdier um, harder uh, leather it's up to you and how comfortable it is uh, for your feet and again color wise i mean when i'm thinking of a loafer i always think black uh but i love for the season a bit of suede in you know a more delicate fabric and also color there are so many beautiful beige brownish neutrals tops out there uh, again id they have some really nice styles when it comes to suede and they can brighten up whatever outfit you've put together compared to it just a bit of a boring and a safe black one now next shoe trend for spring that is so wearable for whatever you decide to put together is trainers i'm sure everyone has not just one pair of trainers <laughs> in their wardrobe because trainers are I don't know a bulletproof uh, choice if you ask me they can uh, dress down every look and make it you know modern suitable for every day comfortable wearable uh, while at the same time you look chic and stylish so you can uh, wear trainers with a pair of trousers with your leggings even with dresses I love you know mix and matching the elegance of a dress whatever kind of dress it is whatever uh, fabric it is in with a pair of trainers now when it comes to trainers i like to keep it you know sophisticated and simple i don't like too many colors and too much going on so i will always opt for something super neutral and in one color tone if you like so i love something in white uh, so this can be you know your Adidas Stan Smiths or your um, Axel Arigatos or any white trainer from whatever brand it can be high street whatever you have in your wardrobe or you decide to, to buy and of course I love uh, the Sambas uh, and I have to say that Adidas uh, have a lot of styles it's not just Sambas Sambas are trending big time they've made a huge comeback um, uh, this year but there are so many other styles um, as well the gazelles um, someone on my youtube the other day made a comment did they mention the lola is it lola let me check 
Nora, not Lola, Nora, the Nora style. So there are so many um, styles to discover. I lo personally, I love Adidas and I will always go for a pair of Adidas in whatever um, design style uh, because I love uh, the brand. So I'm a little bit biased, you know. And, you know, it is spring, summer is coming and what is better than the next shoe trend that I'm going to mention, which is white out, all white. I love white shoes. I remember the first time I just clocked the white shoes uh, was when I was watching uh, that episode from Sex and the City where Carrie is wearing a pair of simple white pants while she's in Paris, right? She's wearing this super, super fancy uh, dress with, I think, uh, red, black like circles dots big dots it's a very fancy uh, dress I don't remember the designer and I love the shoes and I thought wow how amazing it is to wear you know whatever dress and just accessorize it with a simple pair of white shoes so I love white shoes uh, particularly I love white sling bags I love sling bags in general but just white sling bags are a must I would say for your you know spring and summer uh, dresses heel wise I mean I'm always someone who does not like super high because they're not very comfortable uh, to walk in and to do a little bit of a uh, distance but you choose your uh, heel and leather would be my favorite fabric and whether it is smooth or has a bit of a crock detail again it's up to your style uh, and preference now, following uh, up from uh, the white sling bags, in the spring and in the summer, of course, it's nice to let your toes and your feet have a bit of breath, uh, you know. Uh, and I think the best heel option for this is anything with a bit of a strappy situation going on. So strappy sandals, strappy heels, I think they are very chic feminine quite sexy if you ask me um but what i wouldn't choose uh, would be strappy heels with way too many straps uh going on because i think eventually they will hurt your feet and personally i don't like heels that have way too many straps tying around your leg uh, and i like strappy sandals but not too much uh, too many straps uh, going on. Personal favorites, I mean, I love anything from uh, the Raw, if you can afford it, or uh, Genvito Rossi. And I'm talking specifically about the Portofino sandals that I think they are all time classic. It's not a new design, a new style. It's been um, forever, since forever. Um, and every season they bring new color combinations, colors, uh, fabric details and so on so you can have them in leather in suede and uh, so on so I think a pair of portofinos uh, have a place in your wardrobe if you don't have any yet and if you choose wise I mean the color you will be wearing them forever I have quite a few pairs and the colors that I've chosen them in are super classy and they are always you know modern and they look current so i have them in black leather um and in um like beige of oh not of white it's not of white it's like a taupe beige color like nude a nude color that looks uh beautiful and then i have another uh style in um what's the fabric maybe suede which is black and it has beige dots but these are super super uh, high they are for special occasions so uh that's all my thoughts for the strappy sandals that hold you know a special place in my heart so another uh style uh that i've recently read in vogue that apparently it is uh, a, a shoe trend uh for this uh, year are um flip-flops but with a twist so when i was younger i was oh, i was always buying uh the what's the brand Havaianas flip-flops you know really simple nothing wow 
they were not the cheapest in the market and by the end of the season they were always broken so every year i had to buy new uh flip-flops uh, flip-flops from uh, havaianas this has changed the last few years i have stopped buying flip-flops like that and i've turned into more fashionable fashion flip-flops and the change is that the fabric is leather so i love leather flip-flops i'm currently wearing the ones that i have from um tiki's yeah this is i think an american uh, brand i've purchased this uh, pair from Netta Porte, and i love the colors that they come in to begin with i love the super thin straps because mm, i find them to be super sexy and elegant i mean yes it is a flip-flop but it is it is beautiful uh, style in in all its simplicity and in its leatherness uh, so i love leather flip-flops i've had them for i think over three years and they are like new you know they're very lasting compared to the Havaianas ones and of course there's the um, other style of leather flip-flops that I really love but I haven't purchased a pair yet the ones that you are they are they are thicker so they are there's more leather and the straps can be uh, thicker uh, again to me they look super comfortable because they are super cushiony and I would assume that they are super lasting uh, too and they can dress um, up your uh, outfit they are flip-flops but they are look fashionable right so you can wear a pair of um, I don't know a, a linen set like I'm wearing uh, my linen uh, sh shirt today whether it is trousers or shorts and you have your leather flip-flops and you look perfect the same with a beautiful uh, long linen dress and you want to wear something comfortable um on your feet you don't want an actual pair of shoes so you just throw on your leather flip-flops thick or slimmer ones you choose and you just look the part and 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 the last trend which has been trending since forever i've been wearing these uh shoes for I don't know from my 20s actually and i remember my sister was making fun of me when i had purchased my very first pair of birkenstocks so it was i don't remember what is the style i'll look it up if it still uh, if it still exists and i'll um uh, write it it was the one with the one strap but the very thick one and i had purchased them in white uh, glossy white i was wearing them constantly and i remember i had completely worn them out and i left them in uh, one uh, holiday trip uh, to minorca uh, i think it was uh, yeah they, they did not look good so i thought okay i'm just gonna dispose of them and instead i purchased i remember two pairs of minorcan um leather sandals that i still have uh today uh, so yeah that was my first uh, Birkenstock style and after that I started um, wearing my Arizonas uh, right the one with it two straps so beautiful I have them in uh, black um, and then I purchased uh, my Boston's but Boston's I think they're not a very summery uh, they're perfect for spring though and you can wear them with socks or, or uh, without uh, socks and I find these um, sandals super comfortable they always look stylish um, I remember with or without socks I remember when I first started wearing socks with them certain people were you know like how fashionable is that or this does not make any sense and then one day I was flicking through a uh, vogue and I saw Giselle with a pair of Birkenstocks wearing them with socks because you know when it comes to fashion and fashion trends I think it's important to adjust what's going on with our style but also with comfort because if you're not comfortable while you're wearing something what is the point of it that's how i see things and of course i'm not saying uh that you know you know just notice what other others are wearing and doing but just have 
your own, own point of view and your own style. I'm not saying I wore socks with Birkenstocks before Giselle did, but in all honesty, I was wearing them without having seen anyone on uh, the page of a fashion magazine doing it. And it is a fact. So Birkenstocks, I'm sure a lot of you um, uh, who have been watching my videos are fans of Birks, uh, so I love you. Um, I want to get a, a new pair for uh, the summer, uh, but I always, when I go to Harrods, I always um, cannot find my size. I'm a size 35. I'm one size smaller in Berks compared to my other shoes. Um, and yeah, I hope I will get uh, lucky and I will find my 35 in that taupey color uh, Arizona that I want uh, to get. And voila, that was a wrap. That were my personal shoes, fashion trends for spring and some for um, summer, in all honesty, uh, for 2024 that are trending if you, you know, flick through the pages of fashion magazines, but are super, super wearable. And all of the styles we've discussed during this video are, you know, easy to wear, also easy to style, which is really, really important because, yes, you get these shoes, but you also want to ensure that they look uh, beautiful um, and they make sense with whatever you have in your wardrobe because that is the purpose of fashion styling if if you ask me I hope you enjoyed this uh, video let me know if well let's play a little uh, game how many of these shoe trends you currently have in your wardrobe which ones you like which ones you didn't like and uh, if you are buying any new shoes for the shoes for the season which ones are these going to be and just a little note here i mean i know that this is a video of uh what not to wear but one shoe style that i absolutely hate if i can use this word and i would never wear are platforms please say no to platforms. That's my opinion. Uh, again, let me know your thoughts on this hot uh, topic and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys. Thank you for being here. Ciao.